Welcome to lab six. All right, this is a lab in which the first three videos will be pretty short. I just want to review some of the things you already know and teach you a way to do some shortcuts, some shorthand, CSS shorthand. So let's look at what we have here. We have an index file. We have an index FR. That's a, the same file, but in French. There it is. Then we have some directions, steps one through seven, and some assets. In the assets folder is an images folder. You can see that here. There are three of these images, one called top, one called mid, and one called bottom. You can see that these are parts of a box. You'll place the top one and the bottom one, and that image will not repeat. But when you place the middle one, you'll ask that image to repeat vertically on the vertical axis. That's the Y axis. And then we have a picture of an egg, a chrysalis, a caterpillar, and an adult butterfly, as well as a beautiful monarch. So let's get started by looking at the index. I'll open this with the live server so you can see what it looks like. It's just some basic HTML. You can see an H1, some H3s, and some lists, and a couple of links. So what we're going to do is style this with CSS. Here's all your HTML, and now we're going to add the CSS. We'll use internal styles, which is what you've learned after you learned in line styles. And now we're all ready to do the styles. And let's look at step one of the direction so we can see what to do first. It says put the mid background image on the page, repeat it downwards, and add a background color. So let's do those things first. B51E3D. I hope I remember that. Let's do the background we'll put on the body tag. So I'll type my body selector, my two curly brackets, and then background image. And here I'll type URL because that's the way we're doing background images. And I'm in my Assets folder, I'm in my Images folder, and I'm looking for Mid. There it is. First, let's look at that. I'll save and take a peek. There's the Mid. It's on. Now, remember that by default, all images repeat. So this is repeating up and down, and it's repeating right and left. We don't want it to repeat right and left. We only want it to repeat up and down. So let's put that in. Background repeat, repeat Y. That's the vertical axis. Save. Now when I look at it, it's only repeating on the Y axis, not the X axis. Now let's add the color. Background color. And let's see if I can remember what it is. Always start when you're doing a hexadecimal code with the hashtag. I think it was B51. I'm not sure if I remember E3D, maybe? Yep, that was it. Save. And there's the background color. Wonderful. Let's look at step two. Step two says, put a border under the H1. Here's the H1. Let's look close, up, close up at that border. It's a blue dotted line. So under the H1. So it's only on the bottom of H1, and it's got a color and it's dotted, and it's one pixel wide. So let's put all of those things. We'll start with the selector, H1, and the curly brackets. Now we want, uh, I'll type border width. I'll start with that, border width. I think we said 1px. And then I'll do border style. And I think it was dotted. And then I'll do border color. And 
wasn't, it was that blue, what was it? Uh, 6, 6F, I might have to check. 6, 6F. So this is a shortcut code, 6, 6F, save. And there's, oh, it's not on the bottom. So let's do, actually, now I'm gonna show you the shortcut. So I'm gonna use a CSS comment, forward slash asterisk. Now you can see everything below that has become a comment, but I wanna end the comment here, asterisk forward slash. And let's talk about, I'm gonna save it and you can see now the border is gone. Let's talk about the shortcut. I'm gonna type border bottom, because we remember it was bottom only. And now I'm gonna use these three values all at the same time. So I'll type 1px space dotted space 6ff semicolon save and there it is is it 6ff or 66f i think it's 66f yeah there it is so you can see that this shortcut is much easier than typing the whole thing oftentimes when I'm new at website design, when I was new at it, I typed the whole thing because I wanted to see it all and I wanted to have it all. Let's see if we can make this into a shortcut as well. So first I will comment it out so that it's not working. Save, now all that stuff disappears. And the shortcut shorthand for background is simply the word background. And then we'll skip a space and there's a certain order that this has to go in. And I'll show you on W3 schools. So I looked up uh, background shorthand property and it talks about color, image, repeat, and position. And it asks that you do color first and then the image and then the repeat and then the attachment or position. So we'll begin with the color. I'll just copy this. And then they want the image. So I'll just copy that. Remember there's a space between each one. And then the repeat. And I'll copy the ending semicolon. Save. So now let's see if it's back and it's all back there. So in this short video, you learned uh, how to do two shortcuts.